Buying ones again, getting filled up. We're just trying to measure the length of this little lake here, where we can get across there, and based on that, works out to be roughly uh, just a bit over a mile. And how much do you need to land on? I would say about 1,200 feet to take off when it's fully loaded. We need 1,200 feet to take off, so you should be able to do that comfortably. No trouble. So you, as long as the lake's um, not too shallow, we should be able to land on there quite comfortably. We're going to go to the site, which is AC012, which is one of the important geological sites that we check out. Looking out the front of the anyway, plane. Anyway, you've got life jackets in the plane. Okay, right, fine. Uh, right. <laughs> it's always life good. Jacket. Uh, <laughs> Pulling the boat up to the shoreline to the tree. Yeah. Now that's dedication. Not wanting to spend the rest of the day with wet boots in here. Yeah. Our booty of rocks and amber and lots of rocks in the back. And we've got the Hugh, yeah. Well, the Hugh's still alive. Didn't end up needing him as bear bait. This is our booty for the day. Bloody hard work. Bashing bloody granite underneath the rocks. It's so hard it's unbelievable. Sled tent was too small and um, it was hard, hard bloody work. But anyway, we did it. Our rocks are packed and ready to go home. Not quite sure where we're going to send them to first, but got to get them out of the yellow knife and then we'll get them through somewhere through Canada to America, America to Australia. But we'll get them eventually. Time will tell. A few months and we'll get them. Here we are. Okay.